so one of the things that, like, again, one of the questions of Marx is about, there's a lot of former Elliot people, uh, kind of your CEO, your yep. CFO, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Elliot kind of played an important role in kind of lent you, kind of gave you a vendor loan to buy the company. So there's sometimes there's questions like, what is the relationship between Redbird and Elliot? Uh, and yeah, so we oh. think a good opportunity to clarify that. Look, look, Redbird and Elliot really get each other. Um, you know, I have a tremendous amount of respect for Paul Singer and Gordon Singer. I did not know them before this. Uh, and um, I'm ver as I said, I was very impressed with what they did with this asset in four years, particularly impressive because they don't have any real experience uh, in investing in sports assets, but these guys know how to drive cash flow. The fact that these assets trade on a multiple of revenue is a joke, right? That's just lazy, okay? These things are traded on a multiple of cash flow, okay? And so I don't subscribe to any of that stuff. Elliot's the same way. And so look, you know, they're one of the most sophisticated investors on the planet, so I had to pay a real price for this, okay? <laughs> and I did, but because I've been around this for four years and because I apprenticed you know, in European football and I spent five years and met with close to 200 teams and you know, we, did, we did invest and we invested in France and we invested in England, you know, I, I had a viewpoint as to what the business plan would be in AC Milan. I wasn't just showing up to go buy something. And, and so I, I, part of that you know, determination that I, uh, in, in that business plan formulation was that there was a virtue to continuity. Mm -hmm. And so you know, I said to Elliot, when we were doing this, you know, I, do you want to continue to stay involved? And so roll, I'll put you in a different part of the capital structure. Redbird owns 100% of this. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I absolutely value them in the capital structure because you know, they're, they're really smart guys. And then, and then even taking it to the next level, we took one of their, their two, two of their top guys, and of their own volition, I didn't do it, they, they raised their hand and they said, you know, we're both Italian, yeah. we're based in London, we'd love to come back to Italy, it's a family life decision. Um, you know, could we put our hat in the ring as you were looking for someone to replace Ivan, who did a nice job there, Ivan Gazidis? And I said, sure, I said, you know, and, and, and we did it, we, marked, we vetted them with everybody else, and sure enough, what a surprise, you know, they're great, you know, as CEO and CFO, and the reason why that also really works is because they're very much commingled as part of our team. We're mm -hmm. very hands-on. So going back to your question about me, it's not about me. Yeah. I've got really talented guys all around me. Uh, and so we have a very diversified team that is responsible in a very Belichick-like way for all different aspects of this. And that, ver there, that continuity, I stand by that 100%. I think it's one of the smart things. We're, you, know, you see a lot of guys that go into sports and they come in guns blazing. And, it, and there's, a lot of, there's a lot of vanity and ego around sports. And, you know, the one thing I'd say, you know, we're all type A people, but I, you know, we just don't have that. So and you're Elliot not going to tell have... Pioli who to put on the, on the pitch? <laughs> no. As I said to you, Belgium, do your job. Some, some new owners in the Premier League like to give advice to their, to their coaches. Look, we're smart. I think I heard it up here on the panel. We're smart guys, just like all you guys. We, we're commercial. I mean, it's not rocket science. We're not curing cancer here. But there is, there is an experience level. And what we can do is we can bring, we have a data analytics business. You know, we, everybody uses data today, so gone are the days, you know, per the old Moneyball movie where mm -hmm. showing up with data, like showing up with capital is a competitive advantage. But the way we use data, I think, is differentiated. And so we, on how the so? margin, look, I mean, everybody's got access to the same data feeds, but how you, how you use that, how you look at spatial positioning, for me, it's very simple. It's like, it, it's all ROI on goal efficiency. Mm -hmm. uh, and so how players position themselves to increase their own efficacy and scoring and their own ability to increase those around their ability to score is what that's about. And that's, and so we're looking at that. 